What is up guys, it is Gaminator16 here, and uh, if you read the title, uh, in this video, I will teach you how to actually download uh, uh, PSP games, <laughs> sorry, for free, and first, you okay, so basically, what you're going to need before you start is, you're going to need to hack um, your PSP, but hacking sounds like, oh, you know, you're such a hacker, no, I'm not, basically, you you're just downloading um different software basically that's all you're doing you're just downloading some different software to your PSP and I uh, if you can hear it and I have it on right now and you're just changing the software base to it right now so just follow my step my steps very very properly and I this works for me I get a whole bunch of games now so I hope it works for you bros. So yeah, let's try. So first of all, you're gonna need to go to Safari. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how to download the software later on because you're gonna need a certain um uh application that's gonna help uh download I mean uh, ex uh export the file. Okay, so you go to Google and you just hit stuff it expander right here and then it should be right here it should say Mac not Windows because this is for my win Windows Mac so right here you get this and then you're gonna go to I believe let me think Linux. you should go to stuff it and then you should go here and then you should just hit expand your Mac and this is the only one that's free and let's see that thing didn't work I mean my bad go to downloads and then you go to stuff at expander mac I don't have no idea where it's working oh it should be right here so then you would hit just download and then we'll give it a minute Okay, so this is what you're just gonna do. You're just gonna have to sign up, and all you need to do is put your first name, last name, and email, and that's it. And then it'll let you download it. So uh, that's basically what what it happens. So once you download it, um, you should have like a D thingy. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, whatever. It's just a it's uh, like a stuff thing should come up or whatever. But like every RAR, RAR file or iOS file, not iOS, uh, just RAR or torrents, should come up like an orange box, like like uh, here it is. This should come up, but you're not gonna need. It and this is this is just what's gonna happen. Is this, this is just where the file you're gonna exp expand the thing to for things from. But we're not going to need that right now. So once you've downloaded that, you've already finished uh, probably step part one. So then you're going to open Safari again. And then you're just going to go onto this link right here. I will have this link in the description below and also the stuff it um, download the description below. Um, so yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit the second one, not the top one, the second one. So you're just gonna do that. I mean for shared. And then you're gonna download it. Ignore this. And then you're just gonna hit the free download. Unless you're like a premium account user or not. So you won't need that. And then you'll just wait there. So expand it period of time. Eight, seven, six. Five, oh, oh, it's skipping numbers. You son of a bitch. But, uh, stop it right there. See, so basically, what this should be is it should be like a little box that's it with the stuff it exigenous with the raw thing on it. So I'm just gonna delete that. But usually, what you would do is you would go to Finder and then Downloads and then you'd go on it. 
that's just the link my bad and then I put in a folder so this is what you should get after you expand it with the stuff at expander and just if, because I didn't show you just because I didn't want to waste memory you just click on the once it's downloaded you just click click on the the whatever the thing is called and then it'll pop pop that thing up again like I said like this and if you tap on it it'll open this and then you just hit open and stuff and it'll expand it and that's it but once you've done that uh, you should get that folder uh, so okay so once you've done that you this should open and you should have all of this so all this will not matter what you'll basically need is just that but you'll just do that so what you're gonna now do is I hope you have a or just take your um take the USB port and connect it to your Mac hopefully you guys know that and then you just turn your um, PSP on okay so let me just put up the FaceTime or whatever photo booth so you may see it now so right now as you can see I do have it plugged in it's not in USB mode actually so what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go into USB mode so go on USB mode or USB connection my bad and then the thing should pop up right here so that'll come up right now so or my I already set mine up just take that off I already set mine up so when it connects it realizes that it's that yours, yours should say no name but you can name it if you want so you've already taken a good process of you've already if you made it this far you've already probably done a good job and let me give me a minute to remember okay all right so when you open this up I um this you're gonna get this 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 and this and probably pictures picture folder but I took that off but you won't have this you need to create this later but I'll tell you that for um well you need that for later but uh, just a heads up, you just you're gonna need more than a, a one gigabyte. Or no, you're gonna need a gigabyte. You just you're just gonna need to delete some things, but you'll probably only get up to one game. If you're gonna get a four megabyte, you'll probably get up to like four games maybe. I'm not exact, but if you got eight games, um, I already have like uh, seven video games for free. So seven, yeah. So once you open this up, this will have happen. Then you just go to PSP, go to game, and then you leave that there. And then you open the folder that you got, and then you take these two and drag it over here. Since I already have it over there, I'll, I'm not sure if this will delete it or something like that. But once you put it over there, that should happen. So I'm going to take a risk and I'm going to delete it for you bros. And you'll just delete that. Now, basically, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna drag it under there. Then this is already on there, so then you would just bring this up again. You're gonna disconnect this right here. So then you should exit US USB mode, and you should disconnect. So now, what you're gonna do is you should go to games right here. Go to games. I'm trying to read this. Games, and then you're gonna go down to memory stick, and then you're gonna click it, and then this stuff should come up. They should say the first one should say 6.6 .6 Pro B fast recovery, and the other one should be um, Pro PSP firmware update. So you should have these two once you put that in and exit USB mode. Then what you're gonna hit is you're gonna hit the bottom one, which is Pro Update, not Recovery. So once you hit Pro Update, you should end access. This should happen, the game mode. So I'm gonna turn off the light so you may see better. Probably not see my face. 
using my reflection. So you should access the terminal and what you're gonna do uh, is you're gonna hit X and then you're gonna hit X again and then um, since I already installed it it's gonna be on there and then your, your PSP should restart. But you, if you're just putting it on there you're gonna hit X three times or two times two times not one two times two or three times and then this should open up so your game should basically restart and just to make sure but just to be safe you're gonna go on back to your settings and then you're gonna go down to system system settings so and then you're gonna go all the way down to system information and then the system software should say 6.6 6.6 6 Pro B9 and that's ex exactly the thing and then my nickname is given here and then my Mac address Mac address just be on there it, because don't mind the Mac address because I think when you just connect it it realizes it so you should still have that if your um, PSP does say that then you're doing great you're doing awesome actually so right now You've just hacked your um, PSP, so congratulations, you've hacked your PSP. So, uh, I'm getting a little sweaty right here. So, uh, thanks for watching, bros. Uh, this is part one. I'll see you in part two, so peace. Bye. Bye, have a nice time.